Hello and welcome to the Lake Mead and Hoover Dam update for May 2024. The water level at the Lake Mead Reservoir is currently 1,069 feet 2 inches above mean sea level. That's a decrease of 4 feet 5 inches from our last update. The water level has been on a decline since the beginning of March and will most likely continue to fall for the remainder of the year. The current water elevation is 119 feet above minimum power pool and 150 feet below full pool. Hello and welcome to Time Bomb. The Bureau of Reclamation just released its latest water level projections report and I'm already seeing some eye-popping inconsistencies. Next, I want to briefly discuss the plumbing issues at the Glen Canyon Dam and how that may impact water levels at Lake Mead. And finally, we'll review the latest Lake Mead water level statistics. There's a lot to discuss this week, so work with me here. Hit that like button. Tell me what you think in the comments section. This is Time Bomb. Let's get started. Every month, the Bureau of Reclamation releases a report that shows Lake Mead's water level projections for the next two years. If you're familiar with this channel, then you've heard me complain about how wildly inaccurate these water level forecasts can be. Unfortunately, it's the estimated water level in these reports that determine how much water is released from Lake Powell and Lake Mead every year. So a lot depends on these reports being accurate. But this latest report is driving me crazy. It raises more questions than it answers. Let's take a look. This is a chart of those water level predictions from the January 2024 report. Now I'll add in a line to represent Lake Mead's current water level. Reclamation is predicting the water level at Lake Mead to decline until December when next winter's precipitation is expected to slightly increase the water level before it goes back on the decline throughout the end of the 2025 water year when the water level eventually reaches a low of around 1,043 feet. Now let's add in the water level forecasts from the May 2020 report that was just released a few days ago. As you can see, there's a big change from the January report. Reclamation does see the water level continue to decline, but now it will reach a low of 1,052 feet instead of the 1,043 feet that was previously predicted in the January report. That is a huge change in the water level forecasts. So I reached out to the Bureau of Reclamation to see what caused such a dramatic change. Their response was that the latest water level forecasts now reflect the commitment from the lower basin states to conserve 3 million acre feet of water through the end of 2026 calendar year. 1.5 million acre feet of that water would be saved by the end of the 2024 calendar year. So of course I checked the reports to see if this 1.5 million acre feet of savings is reflected in the numbers. And guess what? It's not. According to that January 2024 report, Hoover Dam would release 8.5 million feet of water in the 2024 calendar year. However, in the latest report, that number declines to 8.1 million acre feet. Yes, that's a reduction of 400,000 acre feet, but where is the other 1.1 million acre feet of water going to come from? Another concern I have with the latest water level forecasts is that there's no mention of the plumbing issues at Glen Canyon Dam. The damaged plumbing impacts the amount of water that can be released from Lake Powell downstream to Lake Mead. This situation could also lead to significantly lower water levels at Lake Mead. However, I do not see this reflected in the water level projections either. So I'll say it again. Don't trust the water level forecasts from Reclamation. Now, let's check on those Lake Mead water level statistics. In the month of April, 601,000 acre feet of water was released from Lake Powell, the reservoir that is located just upstream from Lake Mead. As that water flowed down from the Glen Canyon Dam, it picked up another 78,000 acre feet from side inflows from sources like the Little Colorado River and the Virgin River. But 35,000 acre feet was lost on that journey due to evaporation. That gives us a total of 644,000 acre feet of inflow that was added to the Lake Mead Reservoir during the month of April. Now let's take a look at outflows of water from Lake Mead. In the month of April, Hoover Dam released a total of 895,000 acre feet of water. 
So with total inflows of 644,000 acre feet and total outflows of 895,000 acre feet, the Lake Mead Reservoir lost 250,000 acre feet of water during the month of April. This is a chart of Lake Mead's water level for the 2024 water year that began on October 1st, 2023. Lake Mead began the water, water year at an elevation of 1,065 feet, 10 inches. The water level declined slightly in October and reached a low of 1,064 feet, 7 inches on November 17th. Then for the next three months, the water level increased by 12 feet and finally peaked on March 4th when the water level reached a three-year high of 1,076 feet, 7 inches. Since then, the water elevation has been on the decline a decline that has picked up pace in the last two weeks. The current elevation of 1,069 feet 2 inches is still 81 feet below the 1,150 foot average for this time of year. The highest water level at Lake Mead was recorded on July 24, 1983 at 1,225 feet. The record low water elevation was set on July 28, 2022 when the water level dropped to 1,040 feet, 7 inches. Lake Mead's full pool capacity is 28.2 million acre feet. The average capacity for this date is 17.7 million acre feet. The current capacity of the Lake Mead Reservoir is 9,136,000 acre feet. And the record low was set in July of 2022 when the capacity dropped to 7,018,000 acre feet. Despite the last two winter seasons bringing above average snowpack, the Lake Mead Reservoir is only at 34.98% of full pool capacity. Now let's head upstream to Glen Canyon Dam's Reservoir, Lake Powell. This is a chart of Lake Powell's water level for the 2024 water year. As you can see, the water level was on a pretty steady decline from the beginning of the water year until mid-April. But now things have changed. Water levels at Powell have been increasing since mid-April. This increase in water level is due to two factors. First, the snowmelt in the upper Colorado River Basin is melting and some of that water is already starting to reach the reservoir. The other factor is decreased releases from Glen Canyon Dam. These two factors will still be in play throughout the months of May and June as the snowpack continues to melt and the releases remain about 600,000 acre feet per month. So let's compare the two reservoirs. So far this year, Lake Mead has gained 300,000 acre feet of water. Lake Powell, on the other hand, has lost a total of 847,000 acre feet of water during the same time. That equals a total loss of 547,000 acre feet between the two reservoirs during the 2024 water year. Now let's zoom out to see how the entire Colorado River storage system is doing. Now, when I talk about total system storage, I'm talking about the combined water storage capacity of all of the major reservoirs along the Colorado River and its tributaries. This is a chart of the entire Colorado River storage system for the 2024 water year. The storage capacity declined from October until January 20th, losing 446,000 acre feet. Then several winter storms added to the capacity, increasing storage to a peak in mid-February before going back on the decline, reaching a low of 24.4 million acre feet on April 17th. Today, the capacity is increasing, having gained 110,000 acre feet since that low back in April. So far this water year, the Colorado River system has lost a total of 720,000 acre feet of water. Okay, that's all I have for this episode. I want to thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with another episode next week. In the meantime, please check out some of my other videos and consider subscribing. I really appreciate your support.